Well, I'm going to fix a piece of tunnelised 2x2 to the stone wall there as the rear support for a deck area, or staging area I guess it might be, uh, once the truck is in place. The piece of wood I'm going to use for the staging is this piece of, I'm not going to call it marine ply, I guess you could say it's marine ply. It is 17 ply timber. So I don't know if you can see the edge there. That's a lot of um, plies. And uh, it's probably about an inch thick. This is not an easy type of wood to buy. Because um, obviously it's very specialist. And the place you can get scraps of it like this is from a place where they make or refurbish heavy goods vehicle trailers because this sort of plywood is used for the flooring uh, and other constructional parts in trailers therefore you know that it's going to be quite special so if you go to a trailer refurbishing factory and ask them for offcuts this is an offcut because I guess it's not big enough to do much on the floor of a trailer. Then you can get some really substantial, uh, strong piece of wood which, presumably, without any further treatment, would withstand the weather. Uh, my plan is to actually put some roof and felt over it. Now, in terms of fixing the 2x2 two two tunnelized to the wall, I've got a couple of options. What do I use? Do I use the hammering fixings? That's those. Just drill a hole straight through the wood, straight into the wall, hammer it in. Uh, it's like a plug and screw, but uh, you don't have to worry about uh, putting the plug in first. The plug goes through from the front. Or do we use these winding fittings? They seem to be gaining in popularity with um, frame fixing people doing um, doors and windows. Sorry about the jerkiness. Uh, and you need an SDS drill generally. I think what I will do, because the, the winding one only needs an 8mm hole, uh, is use the winding fitting which needs to be wound in with a socket set. And it's marked on the head what size drill you need. This says 8 by 100 on these fittings, to know what size drill you need, you look on the plastic stem. And although it's not going to show up very well, it says, I'm just taking it away from the camera, just about there by my thumb, 10 by 100. Uh, so that's a, a bigger hole required, that size hole, and that other size hole. So, let's have a go with a wind-in fitting and see where we get to.